services have expanded so that we've not only become very good at growing the cells, but now we are adding to our services where we're able to actually procure and make some of the cell lines and genetically modify them to make the protein that we're interested in. And then also what's referred to as downstream, we're able to do more testing to characterize the protein, to understand it. Taking a cell from a hamster sitting on a countertop to putting a drug in a little vial is a very, very complex, long process that requires a tremendous amount of safety, a tremendous amount of quality, and a tremendous amount of very knowledgeable people who can basically take it from that step to this step. If you have any sort of a process or a project that requires the use of animal cells, that's really where our doors can open up and help you. And, and I should also include in there insect cells also. After that, we can cover academics and research. We can cover high-end commercial, licensed manufacturing, and everywhere in between. We have a comprehensive system in-house that covers not only our manufacturing, but also our quality systems and also upper management you know, support. At the end of the day, it takes a whole team wanting to do the same thing. One key word that combines all of that together that's kind of the glue is custom. If there's anything that we can bring to the table, um, especially with the advent of us venturing into the immunotherapy market, is, is we actually have a lot more characterization, analytical testing now in place than we have in the past. I also am a firm believer in service and in the analytical and manufacturing environment, you're dealing with researchers who have spent a lot of time in their own laboratories and they've invested weekends and 12 hour and 24 hour shifts doing the discovery of these proteins and the nurturing of these cells. And many times what these environments lack is the ability to move it to the next scale. If they generate data that shows that their new protein, that their new drug, you know, say if it's to help lower cholesterol, if they publish a paper, whether it's in the commercial or academic community, they have to hand off the work that they've poured into to somebody else. That's a really hard thing to let go of. But if you tell them, we do custom work, so whatever you've done in your laboratory, we'll do here. And we've been doing that for 25 years. I don't know if you have to say much more to continue the discussion. That's really the key to it, is just to continue discussion, continue dialogue. And the expansive knowledge base that we have with growing literally over 2,000 different cell types here, I can honestly say I would challenge somebody to step forward and say in a facility that works on cell culture, have you ever done that many different cell lines and, and at that breadth of a scale of scope? But what's so unique to us is, is that we are able to grow those different types of cells, but also grow them at larger scales. And that's really part of the uniqueness that I think that we bring to the table here is the experience. The ability for us to take what is custom in their laboratories and scale it up to make a product that can be used for the next step. We have specialists in software. We have specialists in mechanical engineering. We have specialists in fluid handling, electrical engineering, PhDs in almost any type of human healthcare related illness. So it's, you know, for me, I love the nurturing aspect of it. And I love service. Um, service work is also something that's in my heart. You know, I get just as much joy out of making another customer happy because we've met their schedule and their deadline. As I mentioned, we're just one cog in the entire machinery wheel. And so if I can keep my cog moving smoothly here, knowing that other people are benefiting from it, that's, I guess, kind of the driving force.